Hello everybody, this is Alexander from Galileo Sky. In the previous videos you learned general information about the CAN bus. You found out how it works and what are Galileo Sky features in working with CAN. In this video I'll tell about the device operation principles with CAN and figure out settings for data receiving and transmission. To start with, check the external power supply on the device. To work with the CAN bus it must be at least 9 volts. Then start data receiving. The principle how tracker works with CAN bus is easy. The device receives information from CAN via standard J1939 and J1979 and also FMS protocols or use any other. Next, on the protocol tab in the tracker settings, user marks necessary data for transmission to the server. Use the CAN scanner tab to select the desired data and tag for transmission. For CAN data transmission via the Galileo Sky protocols, there are special tags of different sizes. 1, 2 or 4 bytes. They are named CAN X, Bit, R, N, where X is the amount of information and N is the tag number. Thus, you can display parameters in the monitoring software, analyze equipment performance or control vehicles remotely. This is how the CAN bus works. How to configure the tracker to receive data from the CAN bus. So, the tool allows to parse data automatically using the standard protocols J1939 and FMS and J1979. Let's get down to the example. I'll try to explain the principle of this or that action as we go. Let's go. Open CAN scanner, select filter type and set the CAN bus speed. If you don't know at what speed the bus is operating on, try to check your vehicle's manual or use brute force method. Change the bus speed one by one and see if data is getting in. By the way, 7x line users can detect data transmission speed automatically. Click Start button. You see CAN bus messages. Later, we will return to passing and detailed analysis of the necessary IDs. Now, let's choose a random ID and a specific byte in it. If necessary, you can do math actions – add, multiply, divide or subtract. Pay attention that this feature is available for 7x devices only. This can help when data is transmitted at a rate or percentage. I will tell you more about using math on the fly in the following videos. By the way, other devices can do math on the server or via EasyLogic only. In the identifier, select the bit and byte with the required parameter and select the tag where to save the value. In the tag, you can select the direction of bytes reading – big endian from high to low, left to right or little endian with the vice versa sequence. This is necessary because scan data is presented in hexadecimal system. When choosing more than one byte, you face the choice which format to choose – from high to low and vice versa. I'll tell more about how to determine the reading direction in the video where we find engine speed. Next, mark the selected tag on the protocol tab and data will be transmitted to the server. That's it. We showed how the CAN scanner works. Later, you'll find out how to do detailed analysis and search different parameters. Additionally, I'll show several life hacks to search near data faster. In the next video, you'll learn how to use standard FMS and J1939 protocols. This was Alexander from Galileo Sky. See you. Goodbye.